Dave Miller, the owner of Superior Heating and Air, is here now, and it's good to have you back. Summer is heating up out there. It Actually, is hot. it got really hot really fast. It did. Early. I don't know. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so, but since that's the case, obviously now people are back to using their systems full force, Correct. and they're probably looking to save some money. So, how can they be most energy efficient this season? Well, for all those people that didn't do anything, I have to say, I told you so to all of them. Okay, um, no. yeah, you, sh you <laughs> should have listened. But as long as you service your air conditioner, you know, make sure your filters are clean and, uh, you know, gone through the system. I mean, if it wasn't working, you know now if it, it, was, not. If right. it is or not, for right. sure. So, yeah. Uh, but just, you know, regular maintenance is, is the thing we preach, dirty filters, things like that, is all the homeowner can really do. Above that, have a professional come in, whether it's us or somebody else, there's plenty of good companies out there. And so some of the things that we're looking at is, I know there's something called solar thermal. Sure. But that's different than solar panels. Correct. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, it gets fairly technical, but in short, we don't generate any air, uh, any air conditioning. We don't generate any um, solar power with the, our solar panels. We send refrigerant to these solar panels, and it's more like solar thermal. And we use the energy of the sun to do the work of the outdoor unit. And when we do that with certain equipment, we get them running at lower speeds and lower amp draws and things of that nature, which it hence translate into energy savings because you're not using as much energy to operate that particular system. Right, okay. So. And so if somebody does turn on their system and they didn't listen to you before and it hasn't been maintained and they need a new one, <laughs> right? Those, the, I know that in the, on the back end, that's gonna save you money to go the Absolutely. solar thermal route. But on the front end, that can be, looks like it's a daunting price tag. So it, it has what we call sticker shock. You know, it, it is a little expensive up front. Uh, right now, South Carolina has uh, solar thermal tax credits for 25% of the sale of the, of the um, equipment with the panel. Okay. And the uh, federal also has a 30%. Uh, so you get almost 50, you know, 50, 55% in tax credits. So that does offset it. You still got to come up with money up front. Uh, what we what we recommend to the customer is, you know, maybe put down what you were going to spend on a regular air conditioner, and then go to one of our companies and finance the difference until tax time. Tax time comes around, you submit it, and it's really easy peasy. I mean, you if you have the tax liability, you're going to get that money back, or okay. uh, or not have to spend it if you know depending on your tax situation. Okay. Well, that's interesting you touched on though because you do have payment plans, and I'm assuming that goes for any of Anything, your systems absolutely. or any of your services. Absolutely. Matter. So if somebody does decide to go the traditional route, mm -hmm. what kinds of things should they be looking for specifically, specific to their home so they know they're buying the best unit to be the most efficient? Right. Um, I'm probably going to upset a lot of the competition if I say this. I'm not a, a huge proponent of one brand over another. Uh, you know, certain brands do have some features and benefits that other brands don't have. But as far as I'm concerned, and really the industry, uh, is they're all really the same unit, the same components, the same parts, just re-marketed and rebranded with other people's names on it. So they're, okay. I mean, the same compressor is in one unit that's in 10 other units. So what we tell everybody is the difference is who you call. You know, um, you, you can get bit by going to the low bid route and, um, and somebody that just doesn't do the install right. I mean, you can do an install in four hours and you can do an install in eight hours. I can tell you that the guys that spent eight hours did a little more thorough job than the guys that came in and out and knocked it and knocked it out in four. Yeah, well, so. one would hope. Right. Anyway, and they, they tell us, you know, and, and and we've seen it. The most important day of an air conditioner's life is literally day one, the day it started up. If it's not started up correctly, uh, then uh, you're going to have problems. The the only issue with that is that you're not going to have the problems maybe for two or three years as it has time to work through it. So okay. you might not know the installation right error yeah. is a direct result, right. um, but nine times out of ten it, it is. And then you also have the, the items where you have a direct result of a bad install where they just didn't hook things up correctly yeah. um, or just left trash in your attic, made a mess of the house, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, so in the last 30 seconds or so, sure. tell us how they get to you if A, they would like to look at a new system or if they're kind of just looking for maintenance and what you have to offer. Absolutely. We just tell everybody to call our office 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They'll get a live person. Um, if we're not there to actually field the call with our office staff, they're going to talk to a live person who will then get us in touch with somebody that's on call and get somebody out there and take good care of them. Or just look for the yellow vans that you see driving all over that's the place right. and there, call the number off the side. There's a lot of them out there. There is a lot of them out there. Say Thanks you for, saw the van too. That's right. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us, Dave. Thank you for having me.